What's up, you YouTube jabronis? I'm back. Uh -huh. Today we got a different kind of video. I am screen printing all my bubble mailers that I ship my packages out into. I have my custom screens made by the legendary Chris with Dirty Hands Printing. He was kind enough to let me keep these screens. And I should really make some shirts out of these, but I'm afraid of fucking it up. So maybe after I run through 200 uh, bubble mailer screens, I will feel confident enough to uh, print on some t-shirts. Got my logo, a little cowboy, a little skull, some little nails, and then this kind of outdoorsy kind of scene. This is like my art I use for a, a lot of stuff, like branding stuff, like uh, my thank you cards and all that kind of good stuff. It's like 100 degrees, and we'll see how this video goes. Good news, bad news. I forgot that on my big guys, there's only 50 of them, so that's nice. I have a big and I have a small, and then I use boxes for like large obscure things, but for the most part, they fit in my big and my small. We'll see how it goes. Also too, I feel like these bigger ones, I always end up like throwing some smaller stuff in some of the bigger ones to kind of go through them faster, because this has been used for like books and whatnot, and then like belts, wallets, and a ton of other smaller items fit in my small ones. 75 one design, 75 the other design, and I have my huge ass swamp cooler in the back because the shit is a thousand degrees. And we're gonna be fighting the wind inside, fighting the wind outside, fighting heat stroke, as well as fighting being sassy because it's too fucking hot. Yo, for real, this heat is like making me loopy. And now I'm gonna use screen printing ink, and I'm gonna get even more loopy, so beam me up, Scotty, because here I come. All right, so I have a different setup than I did last time. Last time I did this, I was in my shop and had a ton of space. I figured out a good system, but I'm not gonna lie, I hardly remember the system that I had. The only thing that I truly remember is that I remember when I lifted this, I used my hammer to keep me still. I think I put an anvil. I think I put an anvil on the back side of it. You can can't even. It's not even really doing anything. So now I'm tore up because I was gonna use this edge of this stone as like a clean right angle. The anvil is not gonna do anything. So maybe. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, there we go. That's good, that's a system right there. If I've ever seen one. Okay, we're making some kind of progress. I'm gonna use the edge of the granite as a square, and then I will have the anvil to hold the edge in. Leave this guy here, come in, boom, hold it up as I rotate. I think, so I'm taking my trusty tape. I think this one, this is good. Put my tape right here, so whenever I come in, set this down i can actually use this as a line for the envelope come level this square off against the table square it here we should be good to go i got my squeege i got my speed ball i don't know if i'm supposed to shake it or not but i did so this first one's gonna be real rough because i gotta remember how to get the proper pressure as well as hopefully this lining up correctly, so giddy up, Border Kai. There's no going back now. Oh God. Okay, there we have our first one. The pressure's kind of all right. I think I didn't load up enough ink. Definitely gonna run that again, and then you can see it's a little bit too low. Okay, so I adjusted my tape. Okay, we're gonna try this again. So I'm gonna load up with the more ink. And we're gonna run it again. Okay, second try. Ah! So sometimes I do be dumb. I lifted it up when I should have pulled the tape down, so this one's super off-centered. Okay. 
I got faith. Third try really do be a charm sometimes, folks. Also, too, I'm nailing that pressure again. Ah! Mother freaker, dude. Overcompensated. So here we go. Here's the one. I'm feeling it this time. Fourth tries a charm. Also, I'm getting the the ink to do what I want it to do. There we go. There's the money. There's the money, folks. Bang. In the center. I got the good pressure that I like. We're good to go. Let's see if the last one was a fluke or if I can get two in a row. Boom. There we go. Sheesh. Yeah, there we go. Now we're off to the race. Can I get three in a row? Three in a row really do be the test though. Really do be. Yeah. There we go. Picasso. The best thing about this is like, these are gonna be a little more, obviously these rough first ones are gonna be a little rougher, but not only do I have positioning right, I also have pressure right and the amount of ink right. So the, there's a handful of variables that I was dialing in right there with those first tests which I shouldn't have to mess with pretty much moving forward. All I need to worry about is spacing. So I did my first half with the big envelopes. Now we're moving over to the small envelopes and we have to do basically the same process of figuring out where to have it centered. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna really eyeball it. First try, do my bottom line and then also my side line figured out vertical and horizontal. I feel like I got a better eyeball on this this time. So I think I'll be a little more accurate than the first try on the larger envelopes. Sheesh. So that's pretty close. So I got the left and the right figured out, but I want to drop this design just a tiny bit down. I feel like it's a little too up on the paper that way. It's also tricky because like you move the, you move your setting up like half an inch it also loses half an inch on the top so it's like one of those double whammies where you lose half an inch one direction and then you lose half an inch the other direction and you have a whole inch difference so a little awkward it ain't nothing but a peanut there it is there's the money dubskis dubskis the bigger piece of tape make my one line ready to roll no guessing I do have to do 50 of the smaller ones. The bigger ones I only had 25 of each. The smaller ones I got 50 of each, so kind of critical. So I'll run one more test and then I'll throw you guys back on. Time lapse. Bang, bang. There we go. We're off to the races. <laughs> ink to finish it so we're making a hobby lobby run also why didn't you guys tell me how foul that hat was let's go get this ink bag son bag secured canada dry please sponsor me all right ready for design two haven't got a stitch to wear okay so honestly the line the lineup looks pretty good so far like from the previous large Again, you know, the frame's the same side to side, but I think even vertical is about the same. Because I believe my boy Chris, with Dirty Hands Printing, is kind of a guru when it comes to screen printing. So I think he has this like position on the same part of the frame. So I'm just throwing all my eggs in that basket on this first attempt. We'll see if that's a good idea or not, but here it goes. We're just going full send, folks. First try, right out the gate. My boy, my boy Chris nailed it first shot. So my framing for the rest of these should be spot on then. Job and then I found a job. Knows I'm miserable now. Do be making good songs. Hell yeah. 
nailing it. Oh yeah, these are good. This is gonna fly. I'm gonna throw you guys on time lapse. I'm gonna get this shit done. Marcy's bringing me down. I gotta get to some like more upbeat shit. I need to get to some like big mouth strikes again or something. Leave your hate comments down below. So there we go. The little envelopes turning out crispy, sexy. I like it. Okay, YouTubes. So while I was at Hobby Lobby, I was like, you know, I was slaying these screens. I'm gonna try printing on some shirts. Never done it before. This could go terribly wrong. If I ever have a chance of nailing it first try, Right now, after I did 150 envelopes, right now is the time that it's gonna happen good. So, that's Super Hipstery Smiths in the back. I'm really channeling that inner punk rock DIY ethos right now that I am so fond of growing up. I'm gonna try the white shirt first because I never really wear white. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I got faith in this. Ooh, there is like a little bit of a crease right here down the center. You know, there's no time like the present. We're going full send on this shite. I gotta make sure not to print it too high, like up on the neck. Here we go, folks. So let it be known. We have been through hell in my town and we surely rely on you. Printed it a little bit lower, probably than I should have, and I definitely should have given it like probably like three wipes because it didn't transfer all too well. It's almost dry. I'm gonna just say screw it. I'm gonna just wear it. I'm gonna see how off it really is. It can be better. But now I know, now I gotta go higher. Full sand, we're going again. Here we go, YouTube. Five wipes. There's no way five wipes didn't transfer here. Oh yeah, that's sticky. That is sticky. God damn it, it's a little bit too high. Ah! You are just watching me throw money straight into the trash. Honestly, I kind of blew that one so bad I don't even want to show you guys. We're going third tries a charm. Third tries a charm. Alright YouTube, this is it. This is the one. This the one. Third try is a charm. Stop me. Stop me if you think that you've heard this one before. Stop me. Stop me if you think that you've heard this one before. Nothing changed. I still love you. Ew! Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Six. Hell yeah, dude. It's like perfect. I'm hyped. This one's good. This is super wet though. I wiped way more, so I'm afraid to touch it and smudge anything. So it's tomorrow uh, from the shooting of the video. I let these bad boys dry overnight. One, I like to mix them up. Depending on the customer and kind of what I can tell about them whenever they place their order, I'll give them a different uh, 
envelope, like usually, you know, if I have like an, a nice old lady, um, I'm probably more likely to throw her stuff in here. And if I get like a cool radical young person, you know, I'll probably throw this guy in. Um, that's not really every order per se, but whenever I kind of get the chance and have an idea, I might like to do a little something something. So what I actually like to do is like shuffle them together and mix them up so nobody really knows what you're doing and it's like uh, kind of like Pokemon so you gotta collect them all. Yeah, you never know which one you're gonna get. printing those it was kind of out of necessity of you know not like having enough money to be able to you know break off having somebody professionally print those or screen those and now I'm thinking it'd probably be a lot easier to just have them like sent to me already printed but I kind of like love printing them and you know as a kid growing up in like the kind of artsy punk rocker kind of circles like there was always this DIY do-it-yourself kind of mentality you know that I had friends starting clothing companies like in high school um, people making their own flyers for you know concerts or like backyard shows and stuff like that as weird as it sounds printing my packaging is like one of my favorite things about like having my own business at all like period like i'd say it's probably like my favorite task i don't screen print all too often like um i'm usually a guy who does like one thing a day maybe two things a day you know sometimes certain things take two or three days so i highly enjoy uh doing that a lot and also too like you know when you're done spending you know a good chunk of time on some project that you then you know package up and send off like grabbing one of these packages out and like packing you know packing it into this envelope that i've made with like my artwork and my logo and my branding that i hand screen printed on there you know and you can see the little imperfections you know sometimes i pick up a package and i get the prints like a little crooked and i was like oh shit like i must have loaded that one in crooked or you know, once sometimes like the, the print is just pristine and perfect, then I go, oh, this print was super sick. But yeah, I, I highly enjoy doing that. It was maybe four hours or something of my time, start to finish, but it was a blast. It was fun. Sometimes work doesn't feel like work when you work for yourself. Sometimes, you know, even not working feels like work. Like printing these, like even though it was technically part of work, it was really kind of a fun little artistic escape for me which is nice because I don't get a lot of those anymore because of you know I do art every day so when you have art for a job you get your victories where you can I'm now realizing that the screen printing is over and I'm kind of sad because it's back to reality so with that being said thank you guys for watching appreciate it like comment subscribe yada 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 you know the drill YouTube stuff that I'm obligated to say until next time